we actually have a very similar background. And I think that's one of the reasons we're so passionate and motivated um, when it comes to medicine, when it comes to life, and also uh, when it comes to reaching out and teaching others. So high school was a struggle for you I academically? Say, oh, so this is good. So I was perhaps, um, if any of my high school teachers are listening to this, they can confirm maybe in the comment section, I was perhaps one of the worst students that any high school has ever had. And I was not present. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just make it clear here. When we're giving you advice, we're not coming from a place of people that succeeded their whole lives. We know what it's like to either like struggle through school. Uh, and there's just so many different reasons that people have difficulties uh, and we just kind of have our, had our own. I mean, it took me a good five years to get through junior college, find the motivation and even find the vision of what I wanted my life to be like. And so when we present this information to you all, I think we see the potential in people even before they see it themselves because it took us so long to find that in ourselves. Right. So and we know we know it can be done. We know it's possible to go from failing almost every class you take to getting A's in every class that you take. And there is a sure way to do it. Um, and it doesn't require you to be a genius, I don't think. I, I would say that hard work, and you guys have probably heard this from hundreds of people, I, I think that hard work trumps intelligence um, nine hard, out of 10 times. Yeah, and to steal this quote from someone who I don't know who said it, hard work beats talent when talent does not work hard. It's perfect. And I love it. So I brought something to share with you all today. I actually carry this around in my car. It's in my glove box. I don't even know what we brought, so I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually my undergraduate. Birth certificate. You have a birth certificate. Please go assume my identity. This is uh, my undergraduate report card from my last year. That has um, your social security on it. I'm just kidding. That's so the first five years of post high school education I spent in junior college, I did everything I wanted to do. Uh, oh, athletic wow. scuba diving in Colorado um, to every sport imaginable. And, um, you know, actually straight C's was a huge step up for me when I first entered college. That's a huge improvement from my straight D's in high school. I want to know about this B in anthropology. Oh. What is anthropology? <laughs> no, I mean, what I'm looking at here is just excellent grades. You know, you would look at uh, Dr. Maxfield and how I know him today and how I met him. And you would think that this is somebody who always succeeded in school. So when I found out that he was like me and had failed a ton of classes early on, it was just interesting to see that we both sort of came from that same place and were able to overcome that, um, which is why I think that anyone can do it, uh, given where I came from. If you would have told somebody that I was gonna get A's in classes, they would have never believed you. I, no joke, I can show you, I had a .05 GPA, one D and the rest were F. Uh, and so it's very, very doable to come back from that. In medicine, it's everything's kind of percentile based, so we're gonna mm -hmm. just label this 99 because we wanna show you how to get to the 99th percentile. Um, in medical school, we're fortunate to continue to develop our learning skills, habits, and get in the 99th percentile on multiple, if not between us, all of our national board examinations, um, and the shelf examinations. and So a little background here, uh, in addition uh, to finishing medical school, uh, since then, and actually during medical school, Dr. Maxfield and I uh, have both tutored medical students. Um, tu I tutored undergrad students and then in medical school, I tutored near the end of my medical school and then I tutored as a resident uh, for the USMLE and Comlex. And then uh, I wrote questions for different board review um, question banks. Yeah, it was interesting too. I think we kind of like reconnected here a couple of years ago, but we both just separately had done similar things. We both had started writing for board prep sure. review courses and then we both had eventually started tutoring um, medical students and I don't know, it was actually interesting. <laughs> It is true. Yeah, so so between, between writing questions and being familiar with the content on the USMLE and Comlex and also tutoring students and see and meeting them where they are, people had different struggles than I did when I was studying and seeing those different things, I think I have a pretty good understanding of uh, different 
obstacles that each individual student can face, uh, which are different than my obstacles, are different than your obstacles. Yeah. I actually think you're not, our, our, our obstacles have been different. I agree, and our approaches process. are a bit different. Uh, we want to share that with you to help you become the best that you can be.